Hi everybody, my name is Natalie and I'm a librarian at the Comox branch at Vancouver Island Regional Library. Welcome to story time today. We're going to do a story time all about fish. I love going to different ponds and the ocean and lakes and seeing what fish there are in the water. It's so exciting. So I hope you'll enjoy this story time about fish. So to get started, let's sing our opening song, Roly Poly. Okay. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Roly Roly Poly, Roly Roly Poly, down, 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 down. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, out, out, out. Out, out, out. Rolly, rolly, poly. Rolly, rolly, poly. In, in, in. In, in, in. in. Rolly, poly. Rolly, poly. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Rolly, rolly, poly. Rolly, rolly, poly. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slow. Yay! Okay. Let's get started by saying a rhyme called the whale and the three fish. There'd be three little fish swimming in the pail. Three little fish swimming in the pail. But if one of those fish was swallowed by a whale, there'd be two little fish swimming in a pail. Two little fish swimming in a pail. Two little fish swimming in the pail. But if one of those fish was swallowed by a whale, there'd be one little fish swimming in the pail. There'd be one little fish swimming in the pail. One little fish swimming in the pail. But if one of those fish was swallowed by a whale, there'd be no little fish swimming in the pail. There were no little fish swimming in the pail. There were no little fish swimming in the pail. But if all three fish were spit back by the whale, one, two, three, there would be three little fish swimming in the pail. The end. Wow, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the rhyme. Do you think that we should sing a song next? Yeah, I think we need to sing a fish song. Let's sing a fish song about, let's see, what color of fish? Should we do a red fish? Let's do a red fish. It goes like this. One little red Swimming through the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! What other colors of fish are there? Hmm. I know. I actually have blue fish with me today. Blue fish with me. I only have one puppet, but we're going to sing two blue fish, okay? Can you hold up your hand? Two. Two little blue fish swimming through the water, swimming through the water, swimming through the water. Two little blue fish swimming through the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! What other color of fish do you think there are? I know. I think we should do an orange fish. Wow, beautiful, isn't it? it? Sparkles in the sun. Do you see it sparkling? Beautiful orange fish. And we're going to do three orange fish this time. Can you hold up three fingers? 
Okay, let's get started. Three little orange fish swimming through the water, swimming through the water, swimming through the water. Three little orange fish swimming through the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! Good job. I hope you enjoyed that song. Now, I have a very, very exciting story that I would like to share with you. It is called The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark. There it is. It's written by Ken Geist and Julia Gorton. And I want to give a big, big thank you to the publisher, Scholastic, for allowing us to read the story with you today. The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark by Ken Geist and illustrated by Julia Gorton. Published by Scholastic. Once upon a time, there lived a mama fish and her three little fish, Jim, Tim, and Kim. It is now time, said the mama, for each of you to make a home in the deep blue sea. So off they went. The first little fish, named Jim, swam away and met a seahorse playing in some seaweed. Can I have some of the seaweed so I can build a house? Take as much as you can carry, said the seahorse. Jim gathered the seaweed and made a weedy little house. Jim had just finished building his seaweed house when he heard big bad shark knocking at the door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. The little fish trembled and replied, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. So the big bad shark munched and he crunched and he ate up every bit of the seaweed house. And Jim swam away just in time. Oh, so glad he's okay. Soon, Jim found his brother. Tim said, don't worry, Jim, we fish stick together. You can help me build a sandy little house. Jim and Tim had just started to relax in the sandy house when the big bad shark came knocking at the door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the brave little fish replied, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. So scary. So the big bad shark munched and he crunched until he got a sandy mouthful and the house crumbled. Jim and Tim swam and swam. So glad they got away. They swam until they reached their sister Kim. Kim was setting up her house in an old wooden ship. The big bad shark destroyed our houses. Don't worry, you can live with me, said Kim and they did. The three little fish had just finished lunch when they heard the big bad shark knocking at the door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the smart fish replied, not by the skin of my thinny thin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch, and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. The big bad shark munched, and he crunched, but he could not smash the house in, and all of his teeth fell out. Oh! The three little fish were safe at last. Oh, they look so happy. What's the shark doing? Is he making his mouth feel better? The end. I 
I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did. It was a little bit scary, but it was pretty funny, wasn't it? That big shark is pretty crazy. Okay, so let's do one more song in our story time. It's called Slippery Fish. Do you think you can make a slippery fish with me? Okay, it goes like this. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! <gasps> the slippery fish has been eaten by an octopus. It's a squiggling octopus. Can you do a squiggling octopus with me? Like this? Octopus, octopus. Wiggling through the water. Octopus, octopus. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! The octopus has been eaten by a tuna fish. A big, big tuna fish that is sliding, or sorry, it's not sliding. It's flashing through the water. It's flashing through the water like this. Can you do a big tuna fish? Tuna fish, tuna fish, flushing through the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! The tuna fish has been eaten by a great white shark. Ah! Do you think you can do a great white shark with me? Can you put your hand above your head like that? Great white shark, great white shark, lurking through the water. Great white shark, great white shark, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, the great white shark has been eaten by a humongous whale big humongous whale that is spouting through the water. Do you think you could be a big humongous whale with me? Do a big, big, deep humongous whale voice. Okay. Humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting through the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, Gulp, 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 burp. <laughs> the end. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. I hope that you enjoy this beautiful summer weather we're having and that you go next time you're by the water, whether it's a lake, a river, or a pond like this, or the ocean, and you can go find some fish to watch because they are so amazing. Let's sing our goodbye song and then we'll say goodbye. Okay, so we're gonna have two friends, one friend here and one friend here, to give each other a big hug. Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Good, <laughs> goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.